house and moving officially full-time into the RV. We have been living in the RV for the past month or so, waiting around for closing. If you watched my previous vlog, don't mind my hair, it's wet. I came in here to take a shower, but in the previous vlog I mentioned that we have been living full-time in the RV and we just use the house for showers, bathroom. I'm gonna do a last load of laundry today. I washed the dishes because my husband did something with the water in the RV, so washed, used the dishwasher today and that's it. We went through yesterday, we had a final walkthrough. Everything looks good. Cleaned everything, everything is clean and empty. I'm just gonna you know, take out last minute things like uh, dishes, laundry that I'm gonna do and say goodbye to this house once and for all, that's it. I decided to sit here in the dining room and just kind of chit chat for a bit. Some reminisce of some moments in this house. So much work went into this house when we bought it. It was like a complete gut job. My husband put so much work into it. My husband did all the work himself. It took about a year gutting everything and doing like the main things and then we moved in and finished all the little things for like the next five years. You know, like the outlets, things like that, like little things around the house. They needed to get done and this year we finally finished everything down to the T. Put it up for sale and sold it. Definitely gonna be bittersweet moving. I grew up here, we came to America when I was three years old. So I've lived here for 27 years now, September. We came in September, um, 27 years ago. So all my friends, family, like everything that I know basically is here. So that's very bittersweet to leave that. But it's exciting at the same time. I'm moving, we, I don't enjoy moving. It's definitely been, a process. It wasn't too bad. Last year we had a yard sale, sold a lot of big things that we just knew. We, we knew we were going to be moving, like we had plans for it. So last year we had a yard sale, sold a lot of things, sold a lot of things on Facebook Marketplace. It took about a week, I would say, a week or two to bring everything into the RV slowly. Everything that I knew we would need, clothes, you know, our shoes. Kitchen was last. I did that at the last minute because we were still using this kitchen here. Brought everything into the RV and then everything else we just packed up, put in storage. And now it's an empty house. An empty house full of tons of memories. So I guess that's what's bittersweet is. This house has so many memories. So it's definitely gonna be bittersweet letting it go. But that's how life works and we'll just make more memories traveling in the RV full time. I don't think it kind of has like hit me yet. My friends and I always say, um, like, can't believe you're actually moving and it's like, even though we have a closing date today and you know it's coming, it's like you still, you don't really feel it yet. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Maybe once we're traveling out and about and I can't just go on like dates with my friends and have park dates and stuff, then I'll finally realize it. I think just saying that out loud, you're like, it just feels more real, I guess. And we are excited, you know, we are excited, but it's just so bittersweet, you know? I wanted to uh, capture this on camera. My parents came over and I was just standing there admiring the view. This is going to be their last time here. We have under two hours until they close and arrive here and all that good stuff. So I think I'm going to start prepping, getting the RV ready. So just ready to be closed, ready for the road, like securing everything, taking things down. I usually move the ottoman in the kitchen area and then kind of stack everything there and put everything in the sink, like all the glass stuff in the sink. Roll up the rug, put it in the middle here, push the table against there so that the slide can close. All that stuff and make sure everything is nice and secure. when we pack everything up to travel, hit the road. I usually put all that stuff in the sink. This stuff we put in this corner here. Sorry, I'm eating a granola bar. And then here we put their bikes, roll the rug up, put their bikes in here. And then these two slides close. So this slide will come in, that slide will come in and the rug's in the middle and you have like a teeny teensy walkthrough once the slides are closed. And then the bedroom slide closes as well. I took everything off 
this little dresser, mini dresser here. This is just like a stuck on tripod, but I put everything in the corner and good to go. And then the bathroom, put everything in the sink. And that's kind of what we've been doing so far. It's just pretty, pretty quick process. Stuff up there stays put, doesn't fall because it has probably like a two inch lip or so. So it prevents it from falling forward. Same with right here. My husband has to just come in and kind of like secure everything and then make sure nothing's in the way to close the slides. And that's it for the RV. Hook it up. I think he's gonna fill the tanks. Try and see if there's anything else. Make sure nothing's left in the house. That's it. On the way from home, I don't you? Cause I did the same just for you. location. It's called a Tilden Hill Farm. Found them through hipcamp.com. It's kind of like Airbnb for camping sites, which is kind of cool. So we found this place. It's about half hour or so away from where we live so that that way we can like finalize everything. We have some packages coming in on Monday to my parents' house, like a dehumidifier and something else. So we're going to pick that up and then finally from there head out and book a bunch of spots and just like start our journey, but this is kind of like a little in between. So my husband's talking to the owner, I think it is right now, I'm trying to figure out like where we're gonna park. in the living area we take it down while we're driving so it doesn't swing back and forth and my husband did it so you can just kind of like pop it in and out but look at this view out of the bedroom master bedroom that is so gorgeous it's like a little pond you would think but it's super pretty it's like gorgeous views but let me give this to my husband so he can hang it up have a cup of coffee my husband's trying to start a fire it is cold out the kids have their hats on they're chilling outside they just saw us fishing the other two tried fishing in a little pond just for fun but i want to show you guys the property real quick i think i'm going to finish the video here kind of enjoy the next couple of days let it soak in that we sold our house we moved i feel like i have so many emotions so i'm just going to take the next couple of days be with the family and then once we start our journey I think it'll be like Tuesday, kind of start vlogging our experience or just for us to have as memories because right now the kids are so little, they probably won't remember most of it. Oh yeah, they probably might remember some of it, but the other two, not so much. But let me show you guys the property real quick. There's two campers out there behind us. We have spot number one, I believe it's called, and it has full hookups. That's the main entrance. Way up there, you just kind of pull in and we went all the way around. So this is spot number one, it has a little picnic table, the cute pond, beautiful sunsets I assume. And then there's supposed to be like seven miles of trails, mostly for bikes. It's very open, but it's still nice, you know. Kids are having a blast. They got no care in the world. So this is our little spot, just gonna chill here, hang out. Husband start, oh, it's fire started. 
I'm gonna go sit by it and have a cup of coffee with my husband and just chill. Like I said, kind of let everything soak in and oh, the sun feels so good. So yeah, that's, I don't even know what to say, honestly. I'm just <laughs> kind of speechless, but thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Lots of fun stuff coming up and see you guys in future videos.